evening, a well-known former car dealer and convicted con man could get out of prison early. Denny Hecker is serving time for defrauding lenders and hiding money from the FBI and a bankruptcy trustee. Hecker is supposed to be released next year, but some inmates moved to a halfway house a year in advance. Hecker's former attorney told me the residential reentry program is made for someone like him. Denny Hecker went from living a luxurious lifestyle to a life behind bars. In 2010, the car dealership mogul pleaded guilty to conspiracy for sending forged documents to receive tens of millions of dollars in financing and to fraud for diverting money to conceal it from bankruptcy court. And Mr. Hecker, by his plea, has admitted that he was not playing by the rules. He was not telling the truth. He was hiding assets. Hecker's homes, cars, and property were seized and sold off. As part of his guilty plea, he must pay millions of dollars in restitution. According to the Second Chance Act, Hecker could be considered for transfer to a halfway house as soon as next week, anytime after July 4th. He's eligible one year before his scheduled release in 2018. Hecker's former attorney, Brian Toder, said he fits the mold. He's uh, not a violent offender. He's done his time. You know, he's done well with it, as I understand. The concept is to have a transition. Uh, uh, it's a big step from prison to uh, real life. Toder said the Bureau of Prisons typically transfers inmates to halfway houses near family. So if Hecker is freed early, he would likely be back in the Twin Cities. He was a self-made man before, and I think he'll start over again and, and do very well. A spokesperson for the Federal Bureau of Prisons told me they can't talk about if or when an inmate will be moved to a halfway house because of privacy reasons.